Hello, what up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here, welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 259 on this fine Wednesday. Happy hump day, we are now crossing over the hump of the week and it's all smooth sailing down towards the weekend isn't it uh guys do me a huge favor at the very start of today's episode whilst you're eating your lunch put your sarnie down for a sec and then smash that thumbs up button 4,000 likes is your target uh thank you for all of your amazing support on the series and of course subscribe to the channel as well if you're new what are we at currently like 506,000 subscribers Hey, let's try and get it up to 507,000 subscribers. Um, so, yeah, I mean, today's video is going to be me trying to up my rival's rank a little bit um, so that we can get some more rares uh, in our rewards. Oh, I've got a, I need to turn my phone on to do not disturb. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to play a few rivals games um, with basically this as the starting 11. Just going to put uh, Buendia in there and obviously put Tagliafico into the starting 11 as well. Uh, and, and, and it's just, I think that could work quite nicely for us. Uh, just to give it a go to start off with, try Buendia at Cam uh, and then bring on somebody else in the second half. Uh, so we can get him in there on full chemistry, of course, and then change the manager around to make sure that uh, I think we can even get Ronaldo up to eight chemistry in this one as opposed to him being on seven. So, hey, every little helps, right? So we've literally just got, I think it's just Ronaldo and Bender that are off chem at the moment in this team, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got one player on seven, one on eight. And I guess Tagliafico's on nine, but he'll be on ten after this episode because I also played with him off camera for something else later on in the episode in squad battles and stuff. So yeah, I, I wanted to make sure I secured rank two. Uh, I think rank one is a little bit too far away from me. Um, you'll see throughout this episode how come. But yeah, first game I go into, I come up against Prime R9, uh, Tot Sancho, just genuinely absolute mega team. Uh, I know that we sort of expect this at this stage of the game, you know, but it's still, it still sort of takes you back a little bit. You're like, oh God, Prime R9, I've got to try and deal with here, have I? I actually went one nil down quite early, but a little rainbow flick volley from CR7. That's what we love to see. Uh, and just what I was saying earlier, so we got the rivals part for the first half of the episode, uh, and then we're switching over uh, to like SBC mode, and I've got an 84 plus player pick. I've got all sorts of little packs that I've earned and, and stuff like that, so should be quite fun, and there's also a couple of like objective packs as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, good, good times on the RTG today. There's always a possibility of another upload later on tonight. However, I cannot promise it. Uh, it all depends on, I mean, I'm recording this at like 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, so I know in an hour, like what the content will be and whether if there are like guaranteed tots packs and stuff and I want to do them and I can afford them and they're not crazily priced. Maybe you'll see a little shorter episode tonight. Um, however, if, if if there isn't, or we've got to wait until Wednesday night, maybe maybe you won't see extra content then, and we'll just wait until our red pick rewards on Thursday. Uh, so, yeah, we'll leave it up in the air, but... Um, I mean, if you want to like help the motivation levels by hitting that thumbs up button and getting extra likes is when I'm more likely to push out the content for you. You know, it's two way street here, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, I, I sort of kept up with this guy until like later in the second half and then he just completely dominated uh, and ends up getting like, I think he win, win six, three. I couldn't handle the possession. It is really, uh, I think five minutes into a game of FIFA, if someone's just had loads of possession, they keep twisting and turning back and keeping the ball. I'm just like so uninterested uh, that I think I play terribly that entire game. I can get triggered just literally like that. It's, it's mad. But he had a, a higher skill rating than me. He was uh, 200 higher than me, to be to be fair. Um so, yeah, I probably should be losing that match anyway. But we get just about the same amount of points as if we'd played another game of champs. Uh, a little bit more, actually. So, it's all good. We go into the next game. Guy's got a uh, very strong defense with, obviously, Mbabu at centre-back. Uh, and then he's also got that um, Barella, who I've decided not to do. Uh, just simply because I just I don't need him. I don't particularly enjoy the objective stuff online. Uh, I've, I've literally got... Goretzka and Kimmich, haven't I? And Essien. So uh, I don't think Barella would get into my starting 11 in, in all honesty. Uh, but that may change depending on like who I got in red or in guaranteed packs. If we got some crazy Italian player, um, like I don't know who 
Who could we get? Like someone from Inter. If we got a, like a Lukaku, uh, or if we got like a Lautaro Martinez, uh, or we got someone like Insigne, it might change my mind a little bit on who to get, um, or to, uh, whether we might actually want to get Barella. Who knows? Also, I, I've obviously been thinking, I talked about this in yesterday's episode, uh, about Nine Golan. Would that be a waste of coins? Uh, and fodder and also Lozano, would that be a waste for my club? I think at the moment I'm still thinking no for them. Uh, but what you'll notice after today's episode is that we we will come out with a lot of decent fodder. So I am in, I'm in a great position, or I will be in a great position at the end of this episode to do an SBC for a player. If one gr if a really good one comes out, I'm in a position where I can just easily unlock it. I'm pretty sure because uh, I think I could do. I think with the stuff that we've got in the club, I could probably easily do like an 86 and an 87 squad. Uh, and there's not been much that's been costing that much, has there? So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be pretty good for the next good player SBC. Unless I spend it all on like, you know, guaranteed tots pack here and 85 player pick here. That's when things could get a little bit bad and I could start running out of fodder. But hey, we might even turn that into blues and team of the seasons, right? So, uh, yeah. It could happen. Uh, so a four-goal victory there means we get nearly four points. We get like 860 points, which is pretty good. Should solidify rank two for us now, but we'll play another game here. Because uh, there was actually one in between this one that I quit. I was 5-0 down after 20 minutes, and I was just like, you know what? Have the victory, mate. I'm not even going to stay in here for the 150 points that it will give me because I was just out of my depth. So I don't know what skill rating he was, obviously, because I paused and quit. Uh, but I would say, like, up there, 2,300 plus, I would say. Uh, and just way, way, way above uh, what I'm supposed to be playing against. Uh, so, yeah, in this particular match, we end up going 2-1 up. Uh, I was 1-0 up, and then he equalized, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then I think he equalizes here again to get it to a little tap in there from Butra Gueno, uh, who's always been a difficult one to deal with, you know. He's just small and wriggly, and he just, he just gets in the right positions and can finish well on both feet uh, but so can Coutinho we get inside the box there with a the little five-star skill Brazilian who I'd brought on for Buendia uh, and as you can see it was working a treat because we get the 3-2 goal uh, and then I think the ball ends up falling here yeah we, we, we win that that was crucial for Kimmich to win that and Coutinho just once again look at the, the dribbling it's just too much uh, and he knocks it selflessly into uh, Ronaldo unselfishly or selflessly it's probably the exact same meaning right uh anyway we're 4-2 up but he does push through of red rashford uh, and he doesn't manage to get himself a goal 4-3 but i can hang on uh, and win that one 4-3 so again another like 860 point game pretty good uh and i think that's what will do me for uh for rivals because i only have two games left and i think i'm I mean, he had a high skill rating as well. That was a good win for us. Um, but yeah, I think I'm I'm too far away. Even if I got max points in the next two games, as you can see here, like I'm going to actually go right now. This was this was obviously filmed on like Monday. If I go into rivals right now, we're 11 740. So we can get to about 13 500 if we got maximum points. What is it currently at? What is rank one currently at? It is, bear with me. It's at 1370. Like, that's gone up 500 points since I played that a day ago. It's going to go up another 500 points. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get rank one, unfortunately. Uh, it's just not... I just haven't played enough Rivals games. There's not enough left in my... Uh, in my like list of 30 games, I've already gone through most of them because of the weekend league. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but we can switch over now and do like the uh, 84 plus player pick, uh, which is obviously... I mean, like, I've, I've managed to do it pretty good here. Like, just getting rid of an 84 and Berardi tots. That's about it, really. Like, there's there's not much else. A couple of 83s in there. Um, but genuinely, that was quite a well-priced SBC. Um, but, yeah, I just got rid of an 88 there just so that I could... I mean, I, I kind of expected to get him again in this pack right here, if I'm honest. So, I didn't want a duplicate. Um, but one of four players. Uh, can we see a tots? Well, you've seen the thumbnail. So, of course, we are going to get a tots. But, unfortunately for me... It was an 86 tots from the CSL. Um, Memizovic. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Unfortunately for us, it is what it is. The last time there was a 98 rated blue Ronaldo out and the 84 plus upgrade player pick came out, I actually got tots, uh, Totti Ronaldo. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know that, if I've ever mentioned it or not. But, yeah. As you can see, we you know, we, we don't get quite so lucky. But we get blue nonetheless. 
a slight downgrade. It was a bit of a waste of fodder because we turned a few 83s, an 84, and an 88 blue into uh, into one 86 blue. So, so you risk it for the biscuit, though, don't you? Um, so anyway, next up we have, I think, just a couple of... What else have we got here? Is this just, like, objective packs? I forget where we're at. Oh, yeah. So I did a whole bunch of stuff off camera. Uh, I put a squad together, which was nearly my main squad, just with a few extra error of easy players in there, um, so that I could get both or, or three things done at once. Three birds, one stone. Uh, it was called Prime Pursuit. I, I wanted to get that one done. It gave me a Prime Gold Players Pack, uh, and uh, I, I could do that one just literally uh, whilst doing the other two, uh, the two SBC objective players, which are Kaiseido. If that's how you pronounce it, apologies if it isn't. And also Anthony from Ajax. So one from Serie A, one from Eredivisie. Uh, I could get them done all at the same time, those three objectives, um, just by playing some games. So I think it was like 10 squad battles games in total, but I got a couple of the the objectives from the, you know, the longest objective was to play 10 games. But I got a couple of them done in Rivals. So actually, I only had to play like eight games of squad battles in total. Uh, get certain assists with certain people, certain goals with other players. And, uh, and and that would get me all of that stuff done. Pretty nice two-player pack here. Little 89 rated Benzema. This is where we start to build up that fodder that I was talking about, guys. Because obviously, Tots Caicedo, Tots Anthony can both be fodder players for SBCs if we want. They both look quite good, but I think they can probably be classed as fodder players compared to what we've got in the club. Um, and then like a Benzema there, we'll do a couple of little Serie A player picks as well in a minute. Uh, so yeah, we're, all, we're we're sitting pretty uh, with, with good high rated special cards if the right SBC comes out. In terms of bronzes, silvers, and especially golds in the club, we are completely mudded. We don't have anything. Um, but it's probably the least amount of players I've ever had in my club on a road to glory at this stage of the game. Like I know I normally go like full send on the upgrades and, and use my weekly rewards every week for upgrade picks. But yeah, this, this year, it just seems like we've had more and more to do and therefore I have less and less in my club all the time, uh, which I mean, it definitely sucks, but uh, I, 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 I can't help it. I have to do the SBCs when they come out. I'm just too, uh, too hooked on getting player picks and the chance of maybe getting something good because you know how good my player pick luck has been this year uh i i have to take every opportunity to to maybe get a good tots uh it's the wrong kind of blue in this pack right here just going to be a marcus alonso i think it's nothing special um but yeah we'll, hey, we'll take it it's another it's another rare for the club uh, because ucl rare counts as a rare we need that to get these uh a couple of Serie A player picks done uh so left with two good packs then a rare electrum and a prime gold players uh from the rare electrum we can pack a tots is it from csl yes unfortunately it is it's a polish cam uh and it is oh god i gotta try and pronounce the name now uh Mirajewski. Sorry, I, I just can't pronounce that. There's too many letters in that name for me to pronounce. An 88 rated Tots, though, in a rare Electrum. Hey, we'll take that. Uh, a little 83 Umtiti as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're not going to use him. That is that is fodder right there. We love that. It's good fodder. Um, and a Prime Gold Players Pack. You know how trash these have been for me lately. Um, well, unfortunately for you, my luck is going to change. Oh, wait, no. My luck's not going to change. It's going to be a non-board again in a Prime Gold Players Pack. What is with that? Every, every time I seem to get one, they're just non-boards. It's weird. I don't want to complain about the pack luck because I've had good pack luck. But for some reason, Prime Gold Players, they just seem trash lately. It is odd. Um, so I'm, I, I, I gutted the club again <laughs> with those very few packs that i just done. I managed to get a whole whopping three of these player picks done. Uh, and I'm just going to take Hakimi because he's the right rating. He's the highest rating, should I say. No blue in number two, but actually 88 rated Handanovic. And then team of the season, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, wait, no. Dybala, regular gold. Not a team of the season, Ronaldo. Sorry, baited you there again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th for three player picks, two 88s and an 83, I'll absolutely take it. Uh, and just late at night, I, I managed to get these... Uh, these two objective players actually completed, which is good. So welcome to the club. Anthony, nice and easy to get. I think you can get him in like seven games. Um, uh, yeah, 90 rated. If he had five-star skills, which apparently I saw on Twitter, I saw Kazooie say that he's had five-star skills on head-to-head -head for months. But um, 
Yeah, they didn't upgrade him at all. His skills are weak for he was he stayed four star, three star, which kind of sucks because it makes him fodder instead of a usable good player, uh, in my opinion, of course. I think with five star skills, he would be nearly on Nerez level or maybe even better. Uh, and then Caicedo actually does look very good. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the card design for the Tots moments. But in general, he'll probably be quite stiff knowing, looking at that body type. Uh, kind of stocky or, or at least average maybe I guess you could say uh, and 90 dribbling I know that players like Coutinho who are lean and, 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 and skinny and have like 97 dribbling they move so much better obviously but he has got 90 agility and 90 balance maybe we even give him a go before we put him into an SBC uh, I'm not sure but yeah he does look he does look a pretty decent card especially for free I'm sure that will go into someone starting 11 or, or quite a lot of people starting 11 actually um but I don't expect to see him much in this weekend league. I think people are going to get... I mean, everyone seems to have got crazy stuff from all the Serie A player picks. They seem to be giving out like crazy. Everyone's got Lukaku. Everyone's got Mertens. Everyone's got Lautaro. Uh, so I don't know if Caicedo would actually fit in anyone's squad. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap things up for the episode for today. Like I said, there is a chance maybe we get one later out. Uh, an episode out later uh, if there's enough content and I can do something live. It'll be a shorter video, but uh, it'll be an extra one. So I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind. Um, but yeah, no promises on that. It might just be see you tomorrow for rewards, depending on what the content is. Uh, but yeah, do me a huge favor. Smash the thumbs up button. 4,000 likes is your target. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe as well to the channel if you're new around here. Thank you for that as well. Uh, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Uh, only thing left to say is that I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. All of that good stuff. And I will catch you tomorrow or later on tonight. Not sure yet. With another episode. Peace.